Hi guys, this is Ken, aka Art Guy. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Uh, today we're gonna do something super fun. Uh, I've got a 16 by 20 canvas here, and I'm using this thing. I'm actually stealing from Mixed Media Girl, who is one of my favorite people to watch. So shout out to Mixed Media Girl. She she takes lots of different things that you wouldn't normally see and she likes to pour through. So I'm, I'm, I'm stealing an idea from her, but I wanna give her credit. Uh, I found this at, a, at a, a clearance store. This is actually meant for when you're washing your car, you put this at the bottom of the bucket and it's supposed to catch all the dirt. And I just saw all the different holes in it. And I said, oh my God, that would be really cool to, to pour through. So we're gonna do that tonight uh, and see what happens. Uh, you can see the colors I have, lots of greens and purple. I've got a little bit of antique gold here that we're gonna put in the middle. Uh, I have no idea how this is gonna come out, uh, but I wanted to give it a try because I just bought it today and I was too impatient to wait. So I've got my cup here and we're gonna just layer the, the colors. I know that part of the video is kind of boring watching me pour and, and a lot of people will speed it up on their video. I will try to do that in the future. I know it gets kind of, kind of boring. But here's my cup. So we're gonna see what happens with that. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna put a, just a little bit of white down to help it flow. Not that I expect it, but hey, Mixed Media Girl, if you're watching, this is for you. <laughs> all right. That's all I have for white, so it should be enough though. All right, so we're gonna just put this right on top. Make sure we got a good view. I'm gonna focus in a little, get a little bit more. I'm just gonna go around. Looks like it might get kind of muddy, quite honestly. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for a minute, let it drain, and then we'll come back. Okay, so that's been sitting for a couple minutes. I'm just gonna lift it up. A lot of the paint's trapped because it's it's like pushing it back up. So we're just gonna lift this up and let it drain out and see if any, any more comes out. Give it a second. Give it a little shake. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move that to the side. So it's actually pretty interesting looking. Uh, get this thing out of the way altogether so it doesn't make a mess. Um, I'm gonna put some gloves on.
torch it like you do. So I was afraid the gold was going to take up a, a, a lot of it and it, it might once we start tilting it, but right now it's pretty much just in the center. I thought it was going to be a lot more profound. So it's definitely a very green painting. And I'll, truth be told, one of the reasons I went with this color palette is it's, it's, it's all I have left as far as colors. I've done a lot of painting this week and I have not had a chance to replenish, but I, I wanted to use this thing. But it's actually pretty cool. The colors look nice. Touch up the corners. All right, I think that's pretty cool. All right, so we'll come back in a minute and give you guys a close up. All right, so this is the left corner. You know that, I don't even need to tell you that. I like it. I mean, it's very green, obviously. Uh, we'll see how dark it dries. Uh, and I will try to add the dark, res I mean, like the dry results, hopefully not dark, but the dry results uh, at the end of the video. Uh, but thank you again uh, for joining me. Please subscribe to my channel and watch out for more videos. Thanks a lot. All right, guys, so it's the next morning. Uh, these are the dry results. The, the antique gold is, is coming through nicely, but it's not overpowering, which I like. It's a little dark, but not horrible. Once I varnish it, it'll brighten up. So that's it. Thanks again.